Hi everybody, Colin here from Woodthorpe International. Well, progress has been made and changes are going to take place as well. Um, I believe this ship originally was a grain ship and then they changed it into a container ship because of the design of the hull. Now, that's okay, and it has its own cranes on, but I don't want cranes on my container ship. I want it to be a more modern container ship where the dock side lifts them off. So, we're having a slight change, uh, and this housing will be changes as, changing as well. But I'll explain as we go along. Now, we have movement from the point of view we've gone from a flexy piece of stuff what's all bendy to something very rigid. The hull. And we've reinforced it. Uh, it says on the instructions if you want to reinforce, uh, it, it's up to you. It's a ship, you do what you want with it to make it work. But you can see the scale of it now. Now it's all built up. And when you pick it up, it is can't pick it up <laughs> totally rigid so we're at the stage of putting the deck on now why this was a good grain ship you can tell or a you know hard you know iron ore or anything like that is the spaces between each hold there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole. And so is this. Now, I've left this one open, and I'll explain. Now, the cranes go on in between where they probably had uh, scoops on for scooping out and putting it on the uh, dock side. But, as I said, we're going to change it because generally containers on ships go continuous down the length of the ship no matter um, what size they are because all containers are different sizes throughout the world um, that's an American container size because it's a 46 footer we don't have any more than uh, our general is 40, I think we've gone to 43s on some of them now. And I do have some 43 foot containers. But uh, I'm wanting to close, it, close the actual uh, containers up to get more on, to make it, like I say, more modern. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do also is model the inside of the ship going down into the hull how the store containers now i've done and you will have to excuse me this particular hull while i go back to it is for the 40 foot ones you'll just have to excuse my drawings they are sketches and they're not good, but it'll give you an idea, I hope. <laughs> so, in the hull of the ship, it goes down and it gets narrow as it goes down because I don't know what the angle of these are, but I've seen inside one of these and that's what I'm going to model it off and then the containers sit like that 
in the hull and then the, there'll be more on that level and so on. So I'm going to show this on the dock side that this particular height of um, containers will be all missing and the hole will be open. Uh, this is what sometimes happens. Sometimes there's full gaps right across the ship and then the next one might be full. And it's all to do with balancing the boat, you know, the ship out for transit and weights and stuff like that. Now, what I will do is cut this out and then model and slide it upwards because the deck is ready to go on. And the deck overhangs the edge as as well it overhangs a little bit um and then there's walkways round for the guys to get round them and again i will indicate this uh on the you know the model so i thought that would be interesting to do so that's why that is i've left that open and reinforced everywhere else now i could have cut plastic uh because he sent some more but card's a bit thicker when it's as light so that's what i've been doing up to now now i have just i'll go and get the top deck and I've cut this hole out ready. Let's excuse, I'm doing it with one hand. But that's how it'll look. And I've I've cemented all the glue joints up so they stay but what it would mean is the containers would be on here and then another one over on that and it's such a big gap in between it's a very old way of doing it and these are for more local ones where they go more inland a bit or uh, to smaller parts but like i say i wanted to indicate a bigger modern modern one but not the biggest because they're a lot bigger than this in the uh this is the average size of uh ship for containers and the sum twice the size in width and in length so that's what I'm going to model and that's the overhang bit just a little bit all the way around so I'm going to have to cut it out and push it upwards and that again changes it even more uh, it's starting to look like a ship <laughs> so that's the next job on here is sticking this on now, the other thing I've done to show you is drawn the deck part. Excuse me while I find it. And again, you'll have to excuse the drawing and excuse the men who are waving <laughs> and running and stuff. This is the width of the ship. And the bottom layer is one container in. So there's a walkway down the length of the ship. So the men can get to uh, different parts of the containers and stuff. Now in between the containers are some riggings where men walk 
at different heights to strap the containers down and they only do the first four or five layers and then the others are just sat on top with weight now I have seen a film where they've been lifting containers out say behind the very top one and they've caught it and not literally knocked the container over so it's um, instead of it being the right way up it's been caught and it's laid on its side on top it hasn't actually come off the stack and it was uh, they just used the cranes they have on the dock side by connecting the wires to each side and just pulling it and lifting it and they righted it up and then shifted it and reload stacked it so they are actually on there fixed in any way they're just resting on top uh so i have to make some of these rigging things to make it look like a little mister is working strapping down and they can also read temperature gauges for um refrigerated ones and plug them in and stuff like that so down the length of the ship every other one has to have one of these in which i'll have to make and they also have um a guide what goes up the middle so when the crane man drops the crane in it runs down like a channel just to help place them so again i'll have to just indicate that in here and on on these so we're changing that and then the other thing we're changing is this housing there's not enough floors on it um, so we're going to make it higher now we're probably going to use this or uh, use it as a guide don't know yet and make our own but we've decided it needs to have on five or six high uh this is seven on but it didn't look right with this only having three high because well i could have maybe got four on because i have to see over the top and i think yeah you could get four on it just didn't did look right it needed silly as it was even one more made it look better so five or six so we're gonna alter that and then the other thing we're going to do because it's not wide enough which they're generally not as wide as a ship we're going to extend a walkway where the pilot can see the edge of the ship so I can tell the tugs to push it in or whichever on both sides we're going to do it um, so we'll have to do a bit of modeling on that and we may put some fire escapes on here for them to get out or to, you know the general use so we may extend this upwards with a little bit wider bottom because again we've seen different ones with different uh designs you know there's not a fixed way and then we'll also have to put some chimneys up behind for them to do 
on one of the ships, and I don't know if I'm going to model it on this, halfway down the length of the bow, they have like a metal box coming out as high as the um, accommodation. And they fill that with water. It's for ballast. Why they have the ballast as high, don't know, I'm not in the hull. But there'll be some reasoning. Uh, but again, not every ship has it. And then the other thing we will then do is have some maybe 20 foot ones which are half the size at the back so again it's a bit of an alteration but i think it, it's going to be for the best and it's going to be quite interesting to model um just to improve it because i said to the guy i will do my best to yeah, make it right because I've seen some of his models, what he's done for even museums, and they are absolutely amazing. And they're all made this way, out of this stuff. So the next job is to stick the deck on and then put the sides on. It's silly little things at the front at the front it comes up higher does the side walls round and then drops down to the deck say the normal deck level the decks lower but they have these sides so they come higher not as much as that maybe that much but on the real boats they have strips of triangle iron steel whatever it is connecting that to the deck and i thought that would be nice to model something like that and we want some anchors on and some chain um and then we'll probably try and make uh some units where the rope is you know the machines pull the rope that's so it holds the ship still in the dock at the bow and some at the stern so that's so far we have a shape and uh it's starting to look like a very big ship <laughs> and that's what I wanted I wanted it to look like you know wow the, for the containers what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the uh, no, not nose arc um, uh, the Trojan horse mm. where a lot of the containers in the middle will be just carved and painted and then we'll just put proper looking ones on the outside edges, on the ends and stuff. Uh, because there's going to be a lot of containers. If I just pause the film and load the width up, you'll see how many. So I've stacked some on. They have, don't forget, they have the gap scene for the guides near the edges. So that's roughly what I think it'll look like. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten across. And I've just put some in there just to show some down at the bottom. That's how I'm going to make it look. And it'll be all painted out. It won't be white. And then the others... Uh, I'll just keep going down the length of the ship, different sizes. Now, I'm not forgetting that the bottom layer doesn't have the one right to the edge. It's sort of uh, like that, so the people can walk underneath. So I will have to make a uh, 
these rigging things to hold this end one up so it's up there all the way down but that just gives you the clue of the width of the ship let's move them forward a little bit so again you can start to see but that's a lot of containers um, there's 10 there and there's another maybe three the other thing at this end the stack them a bit narrower naturally at the end they don't go right to the furthest point but there will be some and they do drop it down a little bit they don't have them as high as at the front um now some of the big ships we are talking twice the size of this the actual cabs and control part for the captain is in the middle so most of the back is all flat and then these only just slope down a little bit because they don't, you know they can see further but if there's another well two 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 to three sets of across going down there you're going to talk in one two three four five six seven eight maybe a smaller one nine at the front and there's ten across that's 90 containers just on the deck uh, by so many heights so there's going to be quite a few <laughs> but like I say I'll do a Trojan horse effect so it just looks the part but nice ones on the outside and then I've got the Dockland to populate with the uh, containers and as many as there will be on the ship there will be as many on the dock side if not more so that's it up to now uh, I'm really enjoying it and I'm glad I've changed the plans uh, and it's interesting doing the research on it and it's actually interesting doing some modeling of this you know it's for trains but this is no train isn't this <laughs> so you know it's something different so I will stick the deck on and when i've done maybe the first division to go in between i'll do a film just to show you so we got to model something to come out here a walkway sometimes they have a control panel at the end some are open some are enclosed so I'd, i'll probably do an in, an enclosed one here so uh that that'll be nice to do and uh design the chimneys which are quite they're quite straightforward square with a rain pipe out at the top um so that's it so far so I will let you know the next stage as it comes as I do it okay bye for now bye